Hiya there and welcome to Loki Collectibles. Right, this is the section of my website, you know, art and sculptures, that type of thing. These are just some things I've made myself, you know, watching the telly, you know, just messing about, that type of thing. Basically, what they are is new clay sculptures. Right, I have one here a little made. It's a little English bull terrier like cartoon type figure. So, just made out of clay. Painted white. Got some little jewel eyes there we put in him. Just edged him off there, then we put a little lead collar thing on him. You know, quite a nice little little creation. So these are just handmade by me. So they are made out of clay. They're painted reasonably well. It's just me practicing, you know, these are the first ones I ever made. You do like these type of things, they're on my website. So it says me little English Bull Terrier cartoon figure. This was like a little necklace for a car or something, basically a lady had a white one. And my missus made me make her some, so we was just messing about, so... They were originally car pendants and they sort of dangled like that. Or you could use them, you know, as jewellery. The same, there's another little clay, English Bull Terrier type little head we made. This one isn't for sale on my website, because this one had some damage. This is the first one we ever made. So it got a little bit of damage, we weren't too good at making them back then. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm actually making at the moment, which is probably broken. This was another one we made, again for a pendant, we put a big chain on it. Fortunately, this one actually looks more like a lamb. <laughs> but yes, it was supposed to be an English Bull Terrier, a little head pendant. But it's a lamb. No. And, so if you like, like these type of things, you know, we did have more actually. I, m I made some English Bull Terrier things, but they were quite nice. I made some paperweights, lying down ones. And, um... They sold straight away actually, so I'm not quite sure why I didn't make some more paperweights, but I had some lying down I made, and they had little cute heads and sprawled out, and I sold them as paperweights, and they sold out. This is one I'm sort of making at the moment, as you can see it's still quite wet, it's not dried. Um, so this will, when I eventually finish it, will be an English Bull Terrier, I think we're going to make a superhero or something out of him. What my intention was to make lots of like superhero figures, dress them up as Iron Man, Hulk, that type of thing, and put a range. So that one is an early started one. As you can see, that's how they are. They're just new clay, which dries in the air. And what you do, you know, I show you just here. That one is quite hard at the moment. All we do is we spray it by water and we carry on sculpting, so which is quite a cool thing with new clay. You know. It dries out and then you just put a little bit of spray on and you get it going again. This, when it's finished, when I get round to it, will be an English Bull Terrier superhero. But I'm a bit busy doing these videos at the minute, so we put them to the side. So, at some point, Loki Collectibles will have lots of English Bull Terrier superheroes and stuff like that. When we get round to it. So, it is quite fun, you know. Do it with the kids, just sit there and make them. As I say... That one's quite a fun one. I'm not saying I'm brilliant at these, but I've got an English Bull Terrier myself, and that one's quite fun. I was quite proud of that little one I made. Anyway, so anyone who likes any of these, they are for sale on my website, and I will be making a bigger section, doing a bit better. As I say, these were early ones I made. I've figured out how you're supposed to actually make them now. I made a real big one, you see, and it was Incredible Hulk, and it was looking really impressive, and then the legs and arms fell off. And I realised the reason being is because you're supposed to put wire in them. Like this one has a wire going through it now, so it's not going to fall apart. But the big ones I made fell apart. I don't know if anyone's seen any of those on my website when I was making them or whatever. They were looking really impressive. I was extremely proud of how it looked. It probably took me <laughs> three months to get it how it was, and then it fell apart. I was really, really annoyed. So I'm getting a bit better at these now. So if anyone does like this type of thing, you know, check out my website. What these are, as I say, they're made out of new clay. And what I do is I use an airbrush sometimes to spray them. But these ones, I think, were done. That was just normal paintbrush. Th these, believe it or not, were makeup pens I brought. When I do my paintings, I find that a lot of the stuff you use from you, for makeup are a lot better than um, what you get from the art supplies. So all this is like a special mascara type pen, very thin, which I use to detail because the paintbrushes on the makeup were better than the paintbrushes the art shop actually sold. So, that's all they are. Quite fun. Anyway, thanks for looking. Bye-bye.